Here we are again with Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 Episode 2 and last episode was a bit uneventful, it was more like to get you back in, we had like the reintroduction reintroduc for all the girls with some clips from Season 1 and then we saw Chizuru doing some acting and she had the chance to get recognized by a director but Sadly, some other girl got the recognition and afterwards she was so down that she thought she was talentless and was just bad because of it. And then Kazuya tried to cheer her up again and that's where we basically left off. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> break is over, back to work. They need money for the next break. Or in Kazuya's case, he needs money for the dates. Advice from the boss. Cabin attendant. <laughs> so he flew around a lot to meet her every time? I mean, it's basically the same, right? The boss flew around a lot to meet the, to meet her, and he, for which he had to pay, and Kazuya just rents her the whole time, for which he has to pay. And here we are again on another date. Oh. I guess she feels bad about it if he just pays her the whole time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he basically takes away the spots for other customers. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> she would get pissed. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's also like, he's in a relationship with Ruka. She's technically his girlfriend, <laughs> and he's meeting with Shizuru. I mean, at least he's... At least he's upfront about it, right? And isn't doing it behind her back. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Uh, but ultimately, she will get her heart broken by him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's true. I mean, she has other clients too, right? I guess he just wants to do it himself. He wants to support her too. I guess is the point. Oh, she wants to go to a play too. So then they can do it as a date <laughs> to see the play <laughs> from Shizuru. No facades. Be the real Shizuru, Shizuru with me. But I mean, what, how much can you get out of it if you act for someone that knows that it's fake? I mean, how much, oh, dropping the bomb. <laughs> but yeah, how much can you get, like, out of it if you act for someone that clearly knows that you're just acting? I mean, how much can you improve by doing that, right? Time's up. <laughs> I'm off work. Let's go. God damn it. Oh. The betting center. Is she good at it? Dude, he, his eyes drop out. Any moment. Oh, she's actually good. In a bad mood, so letting off some steam. So it's just like to keep guys away. <laughs> and there we go again. She gets attention. <laughs> and he does his job. He keeps him away. <laughs> Hell yeah. It fits. Looks good. I guess so. I remember that from season one. <laughs> You're not some weirdo? I'm, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, I guess that was a plan from the beginning, right? They are just neighbors. 
home run. <laughs> Lucky bastard. They wouldn't be saying that if they know the truth behind him. <laughs> they would be like, what an idiot. Come on, high five. Go for it, Kazuya. <laughs> oh, another place to go. Don't get your hopes up, Kazuya. It's not what you think it is. Oh, the grandma wants to see him. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why she took him with, with her. Oh my god. It was all just to get him to the grandma. I mean, I guess she's not completely fine if she's in the hospital again. Oh. <laughs> and he gets flustered again. Okay, is this why she wants to see him? For a favor? <laughs> I think she wouldn't be like that if she would would have found out. Ah. She's a Rotolda. He loved it. <laughs> yes, he did. Loud and clear in public so that everyone else could hear too. Oh, she likes compliments. <laughs> She's not strong. She's a needy girl with a baseball bat. What the fuck? I mean, I don't think that he punched or, or hit her with a baseball bat, but <laughs> my God, what the hell, Kazuya? Oh, what's wrong with him? <laughs> Joking about that? For whatever reason? <laughs> she believes. She believes it's the wrong person. One brain cell, indeed. <laughs> mm, I don't know about that. I guess that's true. I guess it's for many people that they are bad at like recognizing their weaknesses and all that stuff. I'm off ice. That's also like, I guess, for many people. I mean, that's basically what relationships are all about. That you find the right person that is there for you when you need him. She really wants them to work out. Like, that, that the relationship works out. If she knew, I mean, we know what the end will be like, right? Comes true. But it will be a long way. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's his like deepest thought about it, right? That he loves her with all her with all his heart, but there are complications. <sighs> Nothing. Nothing at all. We didn't talk about you, not at all. <laughs> yeah, the lowly part I can I I can get that, right? But needy? I mean, that's already what he does by renting her all the time. <laughs> of course, five out of five. Truly the perfect girlfriend. And he means that. Trash. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, I love this OST. It's so good. What's going on here? I guess it's something dumb. <laughs> Come on, give it to me. What is it? Something dumb. <laughs> of course it's something dumb. <laughs> okay, this is the next episode. Oh, of course it's something dumb. <laughs> Okay, this was episode 2 and yeah, we had Kazuya and Chizuru again on a date where she basically told him that she doesn't has to rent her out every week because, well, he isn't gaining anything anything from it. But yeah, I mean, we know Kazuya, he does it because he really wants to support her in his own way, which is basically the only way that he can do it really. And so that she can succeed in her dream. But yeah, she told him that she also has to, like, um, consider her other customers. Which I guess makes sense, right? <laughs> he basically takes away, like, a slot for someone else. Um, but yeah, we also saw that Kazuya talked with Ruka, his girlfriend. More or less, <laughs> forced. <laughs> forced girlfriend. Um, that he talked to her about... Him wanting to rent Shizuru and she didn't like it at all because she thought it was more like an official thing that they would make it official that they are girlfriend and boyfriend. And then he comes around and is like, but hey, I want to rent Shizuru. <laughs> and she is like, no, nope, you don't. It's not your thing to do. But again, Kazuya being like, yeah, but I want to. It's not the point that I don't have to do it, that I have no obligation. It's that I want to. That I want to support her in her endeavors. And so, yeah. That's that, right? <laughs> and later we met her Chizuru's grandmother again. And, yeah, a lot of deep things came to light, I would say. Uh, because we found out that Chizuru is a needy girl, apparently. <laughs> and, and that she likes to be complimented and that she is bad at acknowledging her own weaknesses and all that stuff and that she's basically wearing an armor of ice which like the grandmother th mother said makes her a great uh actress because because no one sees her that way because she hides it so well so that's that is all basically acting that she is strong when she is not and I mean, that's all true stuff, right? I mean, many people have problems acknowledging their weaknesses and all that stuff. Or, like the grandmother said, sometimes Shizuru feels lonely and all that stuff, which makes sense. That's the same for many people. And the grandmother just wishes that there is someone that she can rely on and that is there for Shizuru when she really needs him. Because, I mean, the grandmother now was multiple times in the hospital. And so, I guess, I don't know how her health is, I guess there must be a reason why why she's in the hospital, so maybe she will die at some point, I mean obviously she will, so the grandmother just really wants someone that is there for Shizuru, and that she can rely on, so that she knows okay, when I'm passing away at some point there's still this person for Shizuru and she's happy um, but yeah, I mean, that's like really true things that's the same for many people, like I said. And so, yeah, that was basically the episode. At the end, we just had like a small scene where they went in, into their apartments and <laughs> the game was trolling again. And because someone knocked in on Kazuya's door and he opens the door and it was Shizuru and everyone's like, is something happening? But no, she just lost her key. So yeah, that was episode two, basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I guess we will see what happens in episode three, if it will pick up where it's left off now, that she lost her key, or if it will just be, picks up somewhere else the next day or something. I could imagine that it picks up where it's left, right? Because it's a kind of weird ending to be like, okay, she lost her key and next episode, yeah, problem resolved. We do something else. 
So I guess episode three could be interesting. But yeah, if you like what you see or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, thanks for watching. Next time. Bye bye.